part of my intent of the work was to really pull you in sheerly by spectacle. And once you got there, then you had to deal with whatever was there. It was a, a bit of a strategy in a sense, but it's also me just being a painter. My name is Carl Joe Williams. I'm an artist based in New Orleans, Louisiana. I grew up in New Orleans, and I didn't realize for a long time how unique it was. A lot of things interconnect there, a lot of musical traditions, a lot of artistic traditions. Looking at my work and how it's progressed, I can definitely see that it's been influenced by that culture. When I was really starting to explore art on a deeper level, I found myself grabbing things out the neighborhood, bringing them home and, you know, getting and hammers, nails and, and screws and piecing things together. I was just drawn to things I found on the street. It's become a part of my visual language of sorts, so color is just, it just flows through me. I think about it, but then there's a level of intuitiveness that comes with how I approach it. There's a lot of collage, found doors, tabletops, old televisions, all of these things come together for me to be able to inject whatever kinds of ideas that I have and use them as a vehicle to speak. I started thinking about this work a year and a half ago, maybe. The country was polarized then and we were still dealing with some of the same things we're dealing with now. It just wasn't as intense as it got to be after George Floyd. And I think we're collectively traumatized by seeing police footage and videos and body cams of, of awful things happening to black people. Where do we go from here is the question. So how do we make these things better? There's a lot that needs to be done, of course. You know, maybe not in my lifetime, but I do know after doing the type of research I've done, I, I realize that these things take time. They don't happen overnight. Making Great Lives Matter. I wanted the title to, to be thought provoking. And not to even pick sides, just to really just kind of present it out there as this is what's going on in the world. And uh, let's talk about it in a way that we could actually get something good to come from it. The idea of making America great again, it's like, I always have to ask, like, when was America great? Then Black Lives Matter, which to me, it's just a rebranding of an old struggle, you know, so we can kind of encapsulate it together and combine them, it, it becomes a snapshot of our time. Uh, storytelling is an important part of my work. Either my story or other people in my community. For me, it was symbolic to be able to talk to people and be able to create a juxtaposition of people talking about the future and talking about their families and their histories and, and all of these things to design questions that could create a, a deeper conversation about these issues that are so important to our time. So it's just mining information, mining for ideas, and to try to figure out ways that we can actually propel our history to another place where we can get rid of this tension and actually start to move together as civilized human beings. Make the dream real is a hashtag, and it's about the American dream and making it real for everybody here in America. You know, it seems like a logical progression from the gallery to social media to keep the conversation going. It was important to see what people said and to open it up to a broader community to be able to talk about it even more. I don't have all the answers, but I can put some questions out there to make people start to move in a direction, and hopefully it, it will inspire someone to think differently. 
To me, it's important to start to develop a sense of shame about our past. Because if we don't, we're bound to keep repeating things over and over and over again. You know, you don't want to be in the United States 100 years from now with the same things going on. I want the work to kind of push our history to another place, or at least open up some minds about how it keeps reverberating throughout time because we haven't really addressed it as a serious wrong. And so I just want to be a part of the solution. Where do we go from here is the question. So how do we make these things better? How can we give up our identities? How can we give up our caste positions to create a more equal world?